Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back, and I'm mad. Not really. I'm disturbed. and Not in the way you think. <laughs> okay, uh, I just got sent a text message about a video by Celeste Solemn called The Beast is Here, 7-13-20, yesterday. She put this up. Now, before this, I had been dwelling on, praying about, thinking about the messages I had shared that were involving her and Israeli News Live, along with a couple of other doctors saying that viruses were part of the immune system and were not contagious. Well, then the Lord brought it to my remembrance that back in 2001, when I first moved to Birmingham, and the move made me so... I'll just say I was so in pain everywhere because I have fibromyalgia and ME which I hate to bring that up, but every now and then it has to come up because it's part of my testimony. The Lord led me to a doctor that diagnosed me with the, these things. Nobody in the Aniston, Gadsden, Glencoe area, there were no doctors that knew what I had. So I was considered a mental case, all right? Keep your jokes to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know this place thinks I'm crazy, but that's all right. I'm crazy in love with Jesus, all right? Okay. Lord, help me stay on track. The Lord brought it to my remembrance that my daughter at that time, who was not who she is now, okay? She was very holy and anointed. And she fasted and prayed for three days. Now, she may still do all these things, but for some reason, I don't, I don't know, I, I, never mind, we don't speak, my kids don't speak to me, I'm a spiritual hypocrite, I don't know what it is I teach that I don't do, I admit to y'all when I sin, I surely admit it to the Lord, none of us is perfect. I mean, that's, we're not. If you really want to get down to the nitty-gritty, we're all spiritual hypocrites in one way or another. Are we not? But do you... Maybe not. If you're saying, hey, I mess up and I repent of it every night, you know, then you're not. You're not a spiritual hypocrite. You're doing what you're telling others to do. Okay. That's enough of that. She fasted and prayed for three days. The Lord told her on the third morning, Your mother is sick. She has a virus. And she needs her medicine. Because she and my husband both thought, as well as what we were being taught in church, that medicine was pharmacia. And nobody should be on anything except what's absolutely life-saving necessary and God can take care of the rest, that kind of thing. Okay, well, I don't know why he couldn't take care of what had to be life-saving, like a blood pressure medicine. You know, there are things that you can do to lower your own blood pressure. And that's true. But in the meanwhile, until you lose that weight and get on these supplements and the right kind of diet, you need that medicine, okay? So that's just one example. Okay, so she had fasted and prayed and she got that message and the Lord reminded me that she got the message, I have a virus. Okay, so... The Lord led me to a website that taught me all about ME and CFS. That's myalgic encephalomyelitis, which is how I found the chat room 
for people with ME, which is how I met my very, very good friend that I speak of from time to time that lives in Arizona. We prayed for her grandson, Matthew, who is still recovering from whatever he had back in November. Okay, but she said he's slowly getting better. All right. And we prayed for the sandstorm. Oh, and the, the riots that were getting real close to her home. Remember that? Okay, that's the lady I met on the chat room. All right. Okay, she's the one whose uncle used to be in the CIA, who sent her information that had been declassified about Operation Paperclip. And in it, it talked about how they brought over the cream of the crop, doctors and researchers, to do their research and things they were doing over there using the Jews and the Christians that were slaughtered eventually um, as their guinea pigs. All right. And... They let him continue here at Fort Detrick and I think Plum Island. I, I'm pretty sure, I know that's another one of their bioweapon facilities for research. But I know that the Operation Paperclip, the, the two in particular, worked at Fort Detrick and they took the Visna virus and combined it with the brucellosis bacteria creating what's known as mycoplasma fermentans and then proceeded to infect all the residents in a tourist town up it's pretty popular but I can never remember the Vancouver it's surrounded by forest Bob you could maybe help me with that it's in Canada and your president gave our Department of Defense permission to spray all the citizens with the mycoplasma fermentans to see how fast it would affect their immune systems. The main goal of that was to decrease everybody's immune system because around the same time they started coming out with prepackaged foods, things like cereal. So instead of getting bacon and eggs, which they started saying, eggs cause cholesterol, you need to find a substitute. Way before substitute eggs, I'm talking about. In other words, eat something else. Um, then you, they came up with Pop-Tarts and other prepackaged foods that were not at all good for us. Oh, but they had added vitamin A and D and this and that and the other. And so they're very good for your child and so convenient for you. Okay, and people fell for all that. So along with the, the bioweapon that decreased our immune systems, vaccines came along and so people started having to get their children vaccinated for school. And then the prepackaged foods with the preservatives and then the fluoride in the water. We've got to get our teeth doing better. How about brushing them every day with baking soda? No, that's too cheap and safe. We've got to come up with something else. So they came up with fluoride toothpaste. Anyway, and on and on the story goes. So that's two incidences where I know viruses were in play to cause illness. All right? You've got viruses and chemicals. Then you've got, what, the radio towers? What did they used to be called? Radioactive, I think. They shortened it to radio. Back when the Spanish flu killed so many. Now, I don't know how radio towers affected health back then. When we've been listening to radio 
all our lives and people aren't still dying from it. So I'm a little questionable on that theory. 5G on the other hand, I, I do think these modern microwave things can definitely play a role in our health. You add that to a virus and what our bodies have already been exposed to, and you've got a mix for death. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ to pray against them by saying, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No plague or pestilence shall enter into my tent. Psalm 91. The other one was Isaiah 54, 17. You see what I'm saying? So the whole point of this video is to say, why haven't her videos been taken down? If she's telling us the truth, and those other doctors that were on Israeli News Live, why weren't their videos taken down? Or were they? The ones with the two lady doctors that talked about viruses being part of the immune system. Were their videos taken down? Does anybody know? Try talking about an alternate cure. I am surprised my video is still up. Talking about the Genesis 2 church. It might end up being pulled anyway. I might probably should take it down. Anyway, I think I will. Because I just don't want to risk someone catching it later. But ask yourself. Why, why aren't her videos being taken down? They're pulling the truth as much as they can. And you have to go to Brideon or, uh, gosh, I can't think of the other ones. Anyway, to another platform. In order to re-upload them and have them shown. So I'm going to end this here and say that uh, if you want to watch this, um, it's Celeste Solemn, The Beast is Here, 7-13-20. I just feel strongly in my spirit that what she is saying, that if you've been tested for COVID, just tested. I don't know what you sign or if it's some real long form and in there in tiny letters is you are agreeing that you are, um, call it um you are agreeing to all the requirements of the new world order system in other words that satan is your master now you know which is part of the mark of the beast i don't know that you're going to this is not the hour of temptation we're, we're still here Okay, this is not true. She's saying if you've been tested with the COVID test, you have already been injected with the, um, oh, let me, let, let me let you listen to it. I can't remember what she called it. With the hydrogel, hydrogel. quantum dot in a trance-like state. And Hold even on. more. And every word is weaponized and it is dual use for plausible den deniability. So you're going to tell people um, this is, these are the facts and they're going to say, well, I just see the good part of this. And so there's going to be um, confusion, which of course that is a signature of Satan. Um, there is, there are guidances and glue, and that is the Geomancer platform and the spell book, which we've talked about before, but it is no wonder that people are under this obedient spell and kind of in a trance-like state. And 
so this system is going to be required and you are going to be faced with it imminently. Um, testing, vaccination, and the sensory tracing, the 24-7 tracing that we've talked about before. And I just want you to know that as of last week, I have found that no matter what you do, um, if you get tested, either the saliva, the prick, or the blood, they are injecting you with the hydrogel quantum dot. And so you are did any of you listen to the video? I shared one of them. This hydrogel quantum dot. When this gets into your system, it, it adheres to your insides so they can trace you. I, I just don't believe it. Too many people have just been tested to see if they have it without symptoms and we're still here I don't believe it I don't believe it and you can think what you want I'll leave the link I will leave the link if you want to listen to the whole thing pray about it let me know what you think alright I plead the blood of Jesus over this video so it will go up and stay up I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you, and all of your devices, your internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.